Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation in the Tango Armadillo campaign. We're going to be playing on the Cobalt Lake next. This one's going to be really, really unpleasant. And I want to do it now before it gets a lot harder. Fuel shortage means we travel slowly, like a lot slower, and it's going to be terrible. Suffer ongoing loss to reputation when they control cities or towns. Pretty bad. Maybe we can make it work, but we can't respond quickly. Intel collection is slower. That is, uh, shall we say, awful! And government structures are significantly less resilient. Terrible across the board. So this has to be our next one. I'm going to go for... Um, possibly the Warlord, just so we can spread out a lot of troops, get loads of uh, national soldiers, and hope that that works. Maybe. We could lose a lot of reputation here. Uh, let's see. What do I want to go for? Probably want to get lots of garrisons. So we're going to go for the Engineer. The speeding up of the Drill Sergeant could be beneficial here. National strength of soldiers could be helpful, too. Um, this is where the instructor actually might have been useful just to move people around in our stable zones a little bit faster. Or wait, no, that's a, that's a logistics expert. This could be actually beneficial here instead of the engineer. All right, to speed our guys up, we'll do that. Let's, um, let's make our guys stronger in general. Let's go for the... Low reputation doesn't cost me as much money, because having reputation might be tough in this map. Randomly build HQ, start with uh, that. Let's start with more intel on zones, since we have bad collection in general, using the tourist. Um, the... Tribal Elder might be the way to go here. Or maybe actually the Police Chief, or do I want to save that? Let's go for the Police Chief, I think that could be fine. Uh, we want to get support in urban areas as quick as we can. So that it's harder for them to actually gain anything. So let's go for the Town Planner. Alright, here's hoping this one works. This is going to be a tough map, I can tell you right now. This is going to be a very, very tough map. They got a lot of zones under control. Um, I think I usually place my HQ down here. Now, we don't have to protect the dam, because that's not this type of map. So that's helpful, at least. Let's go for the District Representatives. Oops, wait, I usually go for this, sorry. Done this enough, I shouldn't have that problem. What am I doing? Alright, let's go for as much intelligence collection at the beginning of the game as possible. We have some uh, garrisons. The problem is the garrisons and the HQ are all kind of weak. So if we don't respond to them quickly, we will lose the garrisons. And that, obviously, is a huge issue. Huge issue. Um, we're going to have to have military units sitting around ready to go. Our support level is just garbage as the warlords. So we're going to have to go for things like universal justice. Wouldn't even mind getting things like the local police recruitment early on. Just so we can try to get some of that extra security. And using the police chief plus the militia together, let's stack up those bonuses to try and make it harder for the insurgents to gain any uh, ground. Maybe that works. I do want to um, knock out some of these zones as soon as possible. So getting our units as soon as they become available is going to be very important. Um, corruption is still a little on the high side. Let's reduce that a little bit. We are going to have a lot of corruption issues as the warlord. We're getting police around at least. This is, this is going to help a little bit. A little bit more security. Should make the earlier game easier, buy me more time to get around and do things. Alright, now we have to get the soldier immediately. So let's do that. Uh, let's also go ahead and start training up some national soldiers. And let's get rid of this zone. Hopefully they don't spawn a camp here. They may have spawned a camp over here. I need to get rid of this town that they control. We found an urban specialist. That could be helpful. Okay, I think the camp's going to be down here. We're losing reputation because they control this town. Yeah. Um... Let's go grab the Urban Specialist, because that could actually be helpful. The Constant's reputation loss, I'll admit, isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. It's still not great, though. Corruption levels are absurdly high at this stage of the game. We have to burn that down. And quickly. Alright, so we're going to get the town back. That's good. Let's contest... Oh, wait. I found the uh, camp. We need to get rid of that. We're going to deploy the Urban Specialist. Absolutely. And I'm going to place you on this guy. Hopefully we can win this fight a little faster. I need reinforcements. Oh, he's murdering me. Okay, hang on. So we've currently got him somewhat contained in this area, so we need to go and use the garrisons to fight and win this. Gosh dang it, he's going to cost me so much because he keeps holding this zone and I can't get rid of it. We have to get things like this PR and media office. Right now my support level is way too low. He's trying to move into my garrison. All right, we have to go here, but we're... No, it's too slow. We can't do it. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it, gosh dang it. 
All right, we've got to go and contest here. I have to accept the loss of the reputation. We've got to defend this garrison. Can't afford to lose that. We were able to at least get rid of the um, camp, so that helps. There's another one down here. Uh, we need airstrikes. That'll help. Okay, makes it a little bit easier. A little bit. Have got to get this town, though. Seriously, have to get it. Um, increase your pay. Yep. Now, we're going to have these people demanding bribes all the time, which is an issue. Constantly bleeding this is just such a problem. All right, so at least we got this. Yeah, you're going to have to get a pay bonus. All right. Let's go to the town. I'm going to move you here. going to move you here so we can use the coalitions for reinforcements. I think that'll be better. Um, garrisons placed correctly could be beneficial. Right here? Sure. I need to get these guys contained. Now, they can cross a bridge over here, and that's a problem. But hopefully the correct usage of the garrisons will make it a little easier to get this town back under control. They got a lot of reinforcements of their own, to be honest. Ugh, but we are able to win that. Finally. Okay. Now, I need to work on some other initiatives. Um, the blockades. Garrison's generating money. Could be beneficial to me, and I think I actually may need to do that. We've got a lot of garrisons, so we should be generating a lot of extra cash using that. Okay, we're fighting over here. Should be okay. We can get some more support there. Let's try moving up over here and see if we can kick these guys uh, away from the bridge. Possibly keep them contained into these zones right here. Pay bonuses? Yep. There's a reason I'm not trying to train up too many national soldiers right now. My lack of stability is hurting right now. You don't say. Yeah, that would be a thing. Uh, they want water. And we'll get some health care as well. Yeah, absolute lack of stability is starting to really hurt. This is where we need a lot more of our uh, support level. Let's get these strategic communications. That should help. Try to get that regional stability up. We were able to push these guys back, so that's good. Um, if I were to successfully push here, and keep them contained in these two zones, and that would be enough. Okay. Uh, stability is going up. That's good. People are getting what they want. We really need the telecommunications, because that'll be a great way of building up a lot of regional security as long as these guys don't get around and uh, siege more zones. And they shouldn't be able to as long as we keep this under control. But we are bleeding a lot. And guess what just happened? They moved somewhere else. Okay. Gotta do some cover-ups. Um, so this is where things start getting crazy. I'm gonna get some drones so we can detect any camps. Hopefully destroy them. Um, we have security here, right? We have 167%. We might actually be able to kill this guy before he can do anything. I say might. Let's try to fight him off, though. Let's push him somewhere else before he gets any more control. I mean, he's not getting very far, but still. So we finally have some stability. Okay, so we're back uh, in control. That's good. Let's get some roads, because I move super slow. Roads are absolutely crucial right now. Do not let them get into this urban area. This guy's going to get pushed back. We have to give him a pay bonus. I cannot afford to keep you, so we're going to have to let you go home. Nothing I can do about that. We are going to approve with oversight to get some extra support level in an urban area. We found that camp. Let's see if we can destroy it. Do we have security over here? We have 171% with one insurgent. As long as he's not spawning more over here, I think that's fine. Gosh dang it with the pay bonuses, though. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do this pay bonus. I've only got two soldiers, but that might be enough. Let's get back up to the urban area. He moves so slowly, though. All right, the insurgent activity is hurting right now. Um, a garrison right here is fine, I guess. And that it keeps things pretty darn well contained. If I move here, we'll have... A lot of control, but I don't know if I want that. Do I? Because I, I kind of worry that if we keep him contained to one tile, it just increases the odds that he's going to move somewhere else. Speaking of which, actually, he's got a camp over here, and we have to get rid of that. I need to win this fight, though. Badly. Please, get these guys out of here. Okay. Reputation is just looking absolutely horrible right now. Horrendous. I'm going to threaten you for three more. Let's try to start building this back up. I am shocked that you still weren't able to get anywhere with this... Um, Security. Absolutely weak. Alright. Let's go for some coalition soldiers, because they don't demand pay bonuses, at least. Let's contest this guy and kick him out. Actually, he just died. Oh, thank you, police. You did your job. Okay, let's go over here, then. We'll try to fight them back a little bit. We're gonna get rid of this camp. Surgeon's activity is looking pretty darn manageable right now. Gotta move you down here. Still need more roads, though. Uh, let's get some interstates. And they did train up some more soldiers. Gosh dang it. Okay, I'm okay with them getting a little bit over here. That's not a huge deal. Um, oh, frick. Can you win this fight quickly, please? Okay, hang on. We need more soldiers now. It's time. He's spreading too quickly. Uh, 
Yeah, we're going to have to get a subtle pressure. Hopefully these guys don't demand a pay option right now. He got the city. Gosh dang you to heck. All right. Um, we are losing loads of reputation all of a sudden. Got to give you a pay bonus. We are, we are teetering on the brink here. Absolutely teetering on the brink. Got to take this. Come on. We move so freaking slowly. I hate that. It's like one of my least favorite modifiers in the game is just how slowly units can move. All right, get this back under control, please. Thank you. All right. So we're going to keep these guys here. Um, we've got to go and contest somewhere. Where are you? Where is your camp? You've got to have one, right? I think we have police here. It's not enough. We're at least able to stabilize a couple more zones. I could go for the travel speed, and I think we have to. Punish deserters. Decrease support level. Don't think I want to do that right now. Don't think I need remote roads. Decrease. Gain, but decrease. Speed of initiative, rollout, but decrease. <laughs> um, let's go for the civil support and try to build up some support level in these areas. I would love to get these guys contained. Gosh dang, how'd you get up here? There's another camp. Of course there is. This is what I'm saying. If we keep them contained too effectively, I think they just build more camps. Okay, he retreats up into the mountains. That's annoying. I have to defend this, and now... Let's make them stronger. <sighs> Not making a lot of money, either. My garrisons aren't doing the job. Gotta do a pay bonus. Kick these guys out. If they take the city, I think we just lose. That would be a disaster. Alright, we need to go for a kill on something. Um, could really use some more soldiers of some variety. Let us arrest the police chief, because we can't afford to lose any reputation there. Um, I'm going to have to take the risk of some more soldiers. And if these guys are going to be kicked out, let's go here and here and clear out this group. I think the security finished these guys off, so that's good. More subtle pressure is going to have to do. Another garrison? <laughs> sure. Please tell me we can redeploy a little faster than this. Good lord. Don't you dare just run off like that. I saw what you were doing. Let's go for interstates, because I think that a lot of the areas around here are interstates, and that lets me uh, deploy here quickly. Gotta give them a pay bonus. Can't afford not to. So these guys are going to die. Okay, another pay bonus. Gonna have to send these guys home, because I can't afford not to. These guys are going to the urban area, but we should be able to deploy quickly-ish. I think the security finished these guys off, so now we move over here, just to keep these guys well contained. And we are going to have to accept the risk. And we gotta start rolling out some initiatives, for real, though. Okay, we're able to defend this. There's a lot of insurgents over here, an absolute ton. Dang it, where are you coming from? Alright. We're getting there, though. This is a risky... This this map is proving pretty tough. I think this is the hardest of all the other three maps that remain, though. So, knocking this out... ...will be quite good. Um, I think we can afford to send one more soldier somewhere else. Let's check for a camp over here. Of course, the second I do that, what do you do? Yamu. Okay, so they're going over here. Um, yeah, there is a camp. We have to get some intelligence. Let's go for some extra garrison strength and maybe some more frequent drones so I can get better intelligence. We need to move up here immediately. Actually, wait. You're fine. Move here. He's close by, so we should be quick, right? I hope. All right, there we go. Just don't let him take this. More pay bonuses. Nothing I can do about it. You moved up over here now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's a stressful map. I hate moving slowly, but we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, we should be able to take out this camp. We have to find a way to clear these guys out again, but oh well. These guys won't get far. Um, we're doing okay in terms of, like, security. We can actually just double up on that. Let's get more police. Little group spawning here and there should become less and less of a threat. Okay, so he's going to take some mountains over here. That's annoying, but not a big deal. Um, let's get some more coalition soldiers. Let's move you here. And let's clear you out. Save the city. Okay... Uh, 9% chance, I will take the risk. 3% more, uh, 3 more reputation. Guy could do another pay bonus. Gonna get a little expensive, isn't it? 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 95% chance, good. Okay, so this isn't going to work quite the way I wanted it to. But if we were to move here... We can finish this off if I can arrive here quickly. Which it looks like at the moment I can't. Let's move you elsewhere for a second so he stays put, so I'll lose the reputation. What's going on down here? Fine at the moment. Um... Sure, security checkpoints will make it hard for them. Then we'll move back up over here, just so we can have these guys surrounded and killed. Uh, full reform, three reputation, absolutely worth the money. Okay, so they're gone. Thank you. Coalition soldiers here. Security finished these groups off, so two soldiers should be able to handle this. Let's just roll out as much outreach as possible. 23% chance is too much. We're going to have to try to talk to them now. Another pay bonus. Okay, we're getting our reputation up slowly but surely. We're getting there, guys. It's just this was rough. <laughs> this was a rough one. Okay. Uh, found a camp. Oh, finally the drones did something useful and explored over there, huh? Finally, huh? Okay. Uh, corruption reduction, not worried about it. Let's go for the democratic transition. Let's go for more uh, initiative rollouts using my units. We could actually double that up if we just want to sack some support level, but I need to save some money. I do actually need to go for a reputation here, so we lose all of our money, but that's fine. A pay bonus is on the way. Okay. Another garrison? Honestly, believe it or not, I think here I reject because I can't afford it. I know it gets me extra money and stuff, but I, I just don't think we can do that right now. I need the money. They got another camp, apparently. Subtle pressure. Fine, fine, fine. Elections due to be held. They've got a lot of control in a few areas, so we kind of need to bring this down a bit. Okay, that's good. Let's move up here. Got rid of that camp. Another pay bonus. Got to do that. Uh, full elections is a chance of failure, but five more reputation helps quite a bit. Nearby region stabilized. Oh, thank God. We got a huge surge of reputation from that. Okay, that's good. Let's move over here next. Insurgents are banned. Let's start farming up some more of that reputations. Oh, they refuse to talk to me anymore, huh? That's fine. You think I wanted to talk to you in the first place? Don't make me laugh. Telecommunications, jobs. I don't care. Corruption reduction, sure. Let's roll out some more um, initiatives using compulsory work. Save some cash. We need it. Okay. We're finally going to be fine. Gosh dang, that was a stressful map. That was a stressful map. We pulled it off. So I must be doing sort of okay. How are you doing over here? Almost done. More subtle pressure. Sure, why not? Uh, let's go for electricity so we can roll out some initiatives a little bit faster. More pay bonuses, that's fine. This one's going to be taking forever, apparently. Um, I could keep you, but I'm not going to. Let's send you home. I think we're fine now. With the interstates upgraded, we should be able to move pretty quick. I do need some dirt roads. That'll help in a few spots. Approved with oversight. Uh, all right. It's going to cost a lot of cash, but all right. Got to deploy down here. We're moving a lot faster now, so we're okay. Actually, it killed units when he came to reinforce. That's a thing? Huh. Apparently when they can reinforce, they can die. Fascinating. Let's move over here next. We're going to be able to protect the city. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. What else do we want? Um, let's go for... Heavier ordnance. Some more water, some more dirt roads, so we fight more effectively. I guess now we can afford to build a garrison here. Why not? I feel a lot better about my money situation all of a sudden. Prison, sure. Now's the point where we roll out more uh, initiatives over here. We're almost ready to go for the kill. Almost. Bravo Kilo is taking forever. Kind of surprises me how badly that's going, actually. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go for... I don't care. Roads, water, health. That's stable. Pay bonus. Time to start moving in. They shouldn't be able to pop up anywhere else except for stable zones. Where I have a load of security, so... Hello, wait a minute. Get back here. Pay bonus here is fine. Move you here, wait. Move you here. Pay bonus as well. Okay. Uh, what else we want to do? Let's go for the remote subsidies. That'll speed things up a little bit, right? 
We're moving very slowly everywhere we don't have intelligence. Like right here, for example, it's so close to where we were placed before. But with no intel, we move super slow. I'm keeping my international forces as long as I want. Oh, you won't talk to me anymore. Don't care. Okay, so that's fine. Now we can finally move in for the kill. Let's get some reinforcements. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to fund an excavation. Because I like history, and I'm not an iconoclast. Elections due to be held soon. Fine, these guys are going to be dead, so... Hey, okay I think the Warlord was the right choice for this. Despite the fact that we've had a little trouble with money. I think that was the right call. Full elections, no way for us to lose anything. We actually somehow managed to claw back to over 100 reputation. Wow. That feels amazing to me. Man, what a comeback. What a comeback. Insurgents apologize, say you're sorry. There we go. Let's just come down over here. And we're going to donate to charity for extra support so we can just build this up a little faster. Region stabilized. Just got me a load more reputation and funds. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really powerful ability whenever that fires. Hereby region stabilized. Here's a load of reputation and money. Like, what's not to like? It's freaking amazing. Hand over your weapons. 131 reputation. This is going to end up being one of my highest reputation runs in this campaign. What? How is this possible? How is this even possible? Well, I'm rolling out initiatives as fast as we can. I think we'll still get the peace deal first, though. This is really slow, too, to be honest. We've antagonized them so stinking much. Uh, sure, pay bonuses. Go for it. And approve a project. Sure, why not? Okay, that's stabilized. Now we're just waiting on Echo Kilo or a peace deal, whichever comes first. So, um, this was the hardest of the remaining maps. Now, granted, in the future... They're going to start with more uh, control over different zones and stuff. So don't think that the next two maps are going to be a cakewalk exactly. But I'm really glad I did not save this for my last map. Can you imagine? I would have lost. Outright I would have lost. That would have been terrible. Absolutely terrible. We'll improve with oversight. Why not? Now, let's see. We're actually about to get this. So I think we just... Oh, we just got it before the peace deal. Barely, but we did. Nice. All right. Not the best score, but we managed to pull it off. So they get a perk. Increase in numbers as they gain control. That is so unbelievably bad. Because the next two maps, they start with a load of zones. All right. Coalitions gain additional deployment time after winning battles. Well, that's interesting. Just because I've never seen it before, I'm going to do it. Though I think the remote specialist attachment's pretty solid. Also, one of my remaining maps, we can only have coalition soldiers. So if they keep winning battles and sticking around longer, that actually works for me. That does sort of kind of work for me. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.